Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here, and today I want to talk to you about something that is equally as important as shooting your footage when you're out in the field, and that is backing up all of your footage for long-term storage and even just for editing purposes. I'm sure we all have plenty of these lying around, portable hard drives or even desktop hard drives, but the problem is that hard drives will, and I say will, always fail at some point. So you really need to make sure that you have a sufficient backup in place for when this does fail so that you don't lose all that precious footage. Today I'm going to show you some of the tricks that I use and how I have my whole system set up to back up and archive my footage. Okay, so backing up your footage is extremely important, but backups are important also for everything on your computer. You have a lot of data that you want to keep safe. So I use a lot of different hard drives to make sure that I have backups of everything I need. If we go to my desktop here, you can see that I have a lot of hard drives attached. I have my Time Machine backup. I have my Drobo, which I'll get to later. My iTunes, a backup duplicate of my iTunes. My photography, a field photography drive that backs up, a field drive A and a field drive B, both of which duplicate to one another and carry a lot of my field work. So the program I use is called Carbon Copy Cloner, so we'll go ahead and get that open. And here you can see it's got a very simple interface, shows you everything you need to know. Here's all the tasks that I have for it to back up, my iTunes backup, my photo drive backup and I can schedule these tasks and it will back up automatically. So here you put in your source. I'm gonna use my photo field drive. And here you put in your destination. We'll back up to my photography drive. So when I take my photos on the road. And you can tell it when to run. You can set it to run weekly and you can schedule a date. Here you can see the last time I ran it and the next time it's scheduled to run. Or, of course, you can always just click the clone button and it'll start copying right away. So here I'll show you an example. Um, I'm going to copy my iTunes to my iTunes backup. Uh, and just go ahead and click clone. And it starts running. It's comparing the files on both drives to make sure they're the same. And anything that's different, it starts copying that data over to my backup drive. Now that the backup is done, it says it's completed successfully, it only took 37 seconds and about 800 megabytes of stuff. And there you go, everything is successfully backed up. So if we look at my iTunes drive, here's iTunes, and here's the file structure. Open up the backup duplicate, and everything on here is identical. It has made an exact copy of my drive to back it up in case the first one fails. So let's go ahead and just confirm. We go through here, get info on both of my libraries, and there we go. If we go and look in there, both are exactly 1.12 terabytes. It has made an exact copy. But when I need protection for all of my video data and all my footage, I turn to one of these guys, a Drobo. It's basically a storage array that utilizes 3.5 inch hard drives and combines them together to create a massive storage array and automatically backs up and protects everything. Let me show you how it works. Here we go on the desktop and you can see my Drobo is located here. It shows up on my desktop as a single drive and I have all of my most important data in there. Drobo comes with a software called Drobo Dashboard. We'll load that up right now. As you can see, it's loading. It's going to look and detect connected Drobos. Give it just a second. And there it is, it detects my Drobo S. So I can go in here and this dashboard shows me a lot of information. It shows me all of the different drives that I have plugged in there and it shows me a lot of information on how much space I have, how much space I've utilized, and basically the general size. Go over to capacity, it gives me a pie chart showing me how much I've used versus how much I have available. 
and then I can also go up here to usage and it breaks it down. It shows me the actual amount of storage and then Trobo uses a special kind of storage and it's broken down here where they use a certain amount, they save a certain amount of space for protection. So it shows me here how much I have for protection and how much I have available for actual data storage. If I go to volumes, it shows me that my Drobo is mounted as a single 16 terabyte volume. Go to tools, I have various tools to deal with it. And here's some more information about my Drobo. You don't need to know all of that right there. Um, and that's the software. The Drobo is pretty much an amazing machine for backing up and the best thing about it is that it takes those 3.5 inch drives which means you can always update and expand it with new drives. So here you can see a setup I had a little while ago and I have one one terabyte drive here that I kind of want to upgrade to get some more space. It's very easy to do. I use these desktop drives this one is a four terabyte from Western Digital and as you can see it's the Western Digital Black has the best specs for video performance so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up the drive and it's just a regular internal 3.5 inch drive and I'll just get that unwrapped and ready to go for the Drobo so all I have to do is push one of these clamps and release the one terabyte drive that I want to replace. Just simply pull it out. Now instantly the Drobo is going to say, uh oh, something's wrong. And it immediately starts backing everything up and none of my data is lost. It's immediately backing up my data to all of the other drives so that none of my data is lost. I can go ahead and pop the new drive right in it just plugs right in and now the Drobo has detected that I have the new four terabyte drive in there and it knows it has more space so it says data protection in progress and what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and repopulate that and now that it's done it has now spread my data across all those drives nothing was lost and now I have more space so as you can see we may have tons and tons of hard drives all over the place but eventually they're all going to fail so we need to have backups of them whether it be desktop hard drives portable hard drives or a drobo well i hope that video gave you guys some ideas on how you can start backing up your own footage while i have some more expensive measures in place like the drobo you can always just buy additional portable hard drives and make copies as soon as you dump your footage to it. This may not be the best solution for long-term storage and archiving, but it's definitely enough to make sure that you don't lose that valuable footage when you shoot. Thanks a lot guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, please subscribe.